A memorial growing at this hour as Grand Prairie mourns the loss of Officer Brandon Sy killed in the line of duty. Welcome to Midday this Tuesday, November 15th. I'm Suzanne Bruner. News of that officer's death breaking this morning. Police say it all happened during a brief chase overnight, starting at Pioneer Parkway and ending on the 161 service road nearby. Our Chris Sadegui is live at Grand Prairie Police Headquarters where mourners are showing up. Chris. Well, Suzanne, we've seen this site too often here over the last month or so. First, it was Dallas PD, then Carrollton, and now Grand Prairie has a memorial out front of their department honoring an officer killed in the line of duty while on the road last night. 32-year-old Brandon Sy died just around 10.45 p.m. is when he was involved in a crash on the road. He just joined the department in January of this year after spending five years at Los Angeles PD. This is the scene near 161 in Southwest 14th in Grand Prairie. The department tells us that this was around 1045 last night when Cy lost control of his vehicle and crashed into a street pole during a pursuit. He later died at Dallas Methodist. They tell us that pursuit started at Pioneer Parkway and Southwest 3rd when Cy spotted a vehicle that had a fake paper license plate. Already, we've seen several tributes and condolences from other departments across the state, but while we've been out here this morning, we've also seen several fellow Grand Prairie officers coming and laying down flowers on the hood of the police car. Also, some badges from some neighboring departments. So far, we have no more information about the suspect who was in that vehicle that Cy was pursuing. The Grand Prairie Police Department tells us that a full investigation into this crash is underway and taking place. Suzanne, back to you. All right, Chris, thanks so much. And as you can imagine, other police departments are offering their support in person and on social media. We've seen departments from Arlington to Burleson, McKinney to Mesquite offering their condolences and support to Grand Prairie Police and the community. This is a developing story and we'll bring you any updates as we get them during this newscast or on our WFAA app and on all of our digital platforms.